Hey guys, I'm Tim with Original Strength, and this week I wanted to give you a little head nod drill or head rotation drill that you can do that really helps strengthen your shoulders in a different way than we've done before. Uh, I'll just more or less show you what I'm talking about as I try to explain it. So before we've been in the TV watching position, which is just sitting on your forearms here uh, with, your, with your belly or your pelvis resting on the floor, you know, like you're hanging out watching TV when you were a kid, if you're over the age of 30. If you're under the age of 30, you may have no idea what I'm talking about. However, this used to be a way that we would lie on the floor to watch television. Anyway, so we're here and we can do head nods here and head rotations using the eyes and letting the head follow the eyes. So we're looking with the eyes and then following around with the head. So we've done head nods and head rotations in this position before. And this is great to build uh, strength in the shoulders. Uh, it helps strengthen the muscles around your scapula, your shoulder blades. Also though, it helps so, so that you don't sink down in your shoulders. What we're supposed to do reflexively is, is be tall up in our shoulders. Anyway, teaches your stabilizers how to stabilize your shoulders so that you have nice, strong, healthy shoulders, okay? And then moving around, we're adding movement to this. So our, we're just teaching our brain and our body really good things, especially around our shoulders, our shoulder joints. But here's, here's where we're gonna get different. We are going to, so right here, we're using our skeleton and our structure to help hold us up. But now we're gonna take the arms away, put the hands on the floor and put gentle pressure into the floor and grow tall. So here I am right now, I'm gonna put gentle pressure into the floor and grow tall, like, but I'm still, pressing down into the floor actively. And now from here, I'm gonna do head nods as I'm kind of gently pushing into the floor. Like I'm not trying to like, I mean you could, but you're not gonna go anywhere, but you don't need to like really try to bury your hand through the floor. You're just putting gentle pressure down into the floor. And what you're gonna feel is your shoulder blades go, you're just gonna lock into place, okay? And you're gonna get taller. So here we're gonna do head nods. And this is not necessarily exhausting or anything, but what we're doing is, is we are stimulating a reflexive response by pushing our hands down into the floor. We're just, we're teaching our brain how to, how to find our shoulder blades and get them to do their job. And so from here though, we're going to also rotate. And you're gonna see that as you rotate and as you push down into the floor, so we're rotating and still pushing into the floor, that there's some interesting reflexive responses happening in your shoulder blades. We're just teaching them how to do their job gently. We are gently encouraging them to do their jobs, which is keep us strong and healthy. So we're just rotating around like you're trying to find your feet. So I'll do this from the side in case it helps. So again, we go from watching TV to spreading out to gently pushing into the floor, getting tall uh, in a tall sternum or tall spine. Do head nods here, but also, and here's the money shot, looking around as we still press down into the floor. Now the truth is this is gentle, but at the same time, it's also exhausting. It's kind of deceptive. So as you press down into the floor, your shoulder blade muscles are gonna get really tired as you rotate from side to side. And I don't know if you can see all the action that's happening back there, but you can feel it. Or you can't feel my action, but you'll feel your own. Anyway, this is a, this is a simple drill, but don't, don't dismiss it, because it is ridiculously simple, but it's doing really good things uh, in, your, in your body is teaching your nervous system where your shoulders are, where your shoulder blades are, and it's reflexively getting a response from them to, to wake up and do their jobs so that you don't have sleepy shoulders or poor posture, so that you do have a long neck. This is how you get a long neck without stretching it. Uh, if you've never watched some of my other videos, there's a lot of comments about neck length. It's, it's, it's healthy for you to have a long neck. Otherwise, how are you gonna look over your shoulder? Like if you didn't have a neck, you get stuck. You can't look over your shoulder. Anyway, this, I'm crazy. So 
That's a very simple drill. Push your hands gently into the floor, lengthen your sternum, lengthen your neck, look over your shoulder blades, look up and down, and teach your shoulders where they are and what they're supposed to do. Makes you stronger, makes you healthier, and it's gentle. Anyway, try that this week. It is gentle, yet it's tiring. Uh, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be amused, if nothing else. All right, give that a shot. Let us know what you think. I'm Tim with the Original Strength, and we'll see you next time.